What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Home Built Workshop. Today we're going to repurpose the base of an old barbecue grill and make a simple top for it using some reclaimed fence pickets to make this cool little simple barbecue cart. Check it out. To begin, I'm going to use a reclaimed base from an old barbecue grill. Now this originally had the barbecue unit sit right here and I really thought that this was kind of a cool base. Grills with a base like this can be found all over on sites like Craigslist, Marketplace. There should be no trouble finding some sort of a grill with a base that would work for a project like this. Now what I'm going to use for this is some reclaimed fence pickets. I believe we can make a top out of these parts that are going to work just fine. These aren't super thick, but I believe once we get it all together, it's going to be perfectly sturdy. First thing I need to do is get these things cleaned up and cut down to size. To clean these boards up, I'm going to plane them down, but I'm only going to plane the back side though. I want to retain that rough weathered look for the surface of this table. Now using my crosscut sled, I'm going to cut these down into slats that'll make up the main surface of the top. And now I'll rip down some narrow strips that I'll use to build a frame. I would have liked to make these just a little bit wider, but working with the boards I had, this is about as wide as I could get while still avoiding some of the cracks and splits. Now with everything cut down to size, I'm going to build a rectangular frame that all of my slats are going to get inserted in. Since this frame is going to have mitered corners, I need to cut those miters first using this really simple miter sled. Whoops! It's kind of hard to get a good miter if you don't cut on your mark. Don't tell anybody that ever happened. And now using a straight cutting bit in my router table, I'll cut a small rabbit all the way around the inside of the pieces for the frame. These will hold the slats for the top in place. This makes a big old mess, so I gotta take a minute to clean up. Now it's time to apply some wood glue and get this frame glued up. Since this table's gonna live outside, I'm using Tight Bond 3 because it's waterproof. Once it's clamped together, I'll just shoot a few pin nails in there to hold it while the glue dries. I don't use these corner clamps all that often, but since these pieces are kind of long, it's a little awkward. I'm just using it kind of as a third hand to help me keep everything in alignment. I'm going to use a few clamps just to add a little bit of pressure while this glue dries. Now I'll just double check to make sure the whole thing's square. After a few precise adjustments, we're pretty square. I'm just going to let this dry now for a little while. That way the glue can hold it in place and I don't have to worry about breaking it apart once I move on to the next steps. Which those next steps are installing the top slats. I'm just going to apply some glue and use a few pin nails to hold them in place and work my way all the way down the top. Once I get all of the slats in, I'm left with one small space where I need to custom fit the very last narrow piece. This is really easy to do though. A couple of swipes with a hand plane and I've got it down to where I can glue this piece in. Now I'll use a couple of clamps on the sides just to add a little bit of pressure while I pin each of the pieces in place. I'll just work my way down the top. And now it's back to the table saw to cut down some longer support strips that will get attached to the underside. So now I'm going to glue these support strips in there. 
nothing fancy. It's really just to provide some rigidity and to build the thickness up a little bit so that I have somewhere to drive in the screws when I attach this. can give this thing a good sanding. I'm not taking it down very much, but this wood is kind of splintery, so I want to sand it enough to remove all the splinters. For the finish, I'm just going to brush on a few coats of this water-based spar urethane. Spar urethane is one of those finishes that I have a love-hate relationship with. You have to maintain it and reapply as necessary, or it is not going to hold up. I'm just kind of slopping it on there right now, but I want the first coat to be really heavy because this wood is really porous and rough. And I want it to make sure that it gets down in all the crevices. That's also another reason why I'm doing this outside. It's because I knew I was going to be slopping it on there, basically. Cute, look at that. Good thing I got more. I always buy more than one of those silly things. All right. I think that about wraps up the finish on this. I'm just gonna let this dry for a little while and then we'll get it installed. All right, let's see if I can hit my head on something or who knows what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna attach this tabletop using some existing holes in the original barbecue frame. <laughs> I like it. So there it is guys, our barbecue cart is complete. I'm liking the way it turned out. This thing should last a long while between the waterproof glue, the spar urethane, and the cedar. It should last a really long time. I am ready to fire up the grill and put this thing to use. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to check the video description for a bunch of links that you might be interested in. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time. You gotta have the right pressure on your regulator to run these things. <laughs> I have my regulator set for spray gun and it's not near enough to drive this pin. Let's try this. That's a lot of birds over there. <laughs> Can we make them scatter? No. <laughs> Man, just took my respirator off. There's still some dust in the air and that old stuff really smells kind of bad and sanding. Ugh. You can even almost taste it. <laughs> old crusty cedar dust, gross. I like this, this is gonna be kind of cool. Oh, we're good, sure of it.